well. So you have all of your regular old slots. You have your num two main weapons, your sidearm, your six main slots. They're, n they're not changing. But we also have some new slots that weren't there before that kind of, because this is an in-game character and we have specializations on these guys, they also gain another slot for a signature weapon mm. that goes above and beyond what the gear game already is. Right. And uh, also the signature, uh, this the um, specialization can grant you different grenades. So the grenade wheel is gone. You have one grenade type, and that's uh, what, if you pick it up for your specialization, you can have a special one, or you can have your regular default one if you want to. So, so as a sharpshooter, I, I have a different grenade. Right. Yeah. So like if, as a sharpshooter, you actually now have a flashbang. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as a demolitionist, uh, I have an incendiary grenade. As you should. I mean, it's, it's all about that p fantasy of setting the world on fire. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you should just quickly, if, if people are new to the stream or yeah. uh, have missed anything sure. of the, uh, the, the coverage so far, can we just recap what specializations are real quick? Just right. So you, one you, play, you play our game, you play through it from 1 to 30, you gain all of this gear, then you start slowly start to see like cool s RPG stuff on gear, and then you hit 30. And at 30, this whole new feature unlocks, right, which is specializations. And specializations will grant you more things and more pr ways to progress above and beyond the 1 to 30 progression. Absolutely right? an end game progression. And, it, and it's going to emphasize how you, you've been playing all along, you know. Right. And they're not mutually exclusive, too. I want to make sure it's people, dive. Yeah. they don't confuse these with classes. You're mm, not no. leveling to level 30 and then locking yourself into anything. You can switch. You can switch, absolutely. And uh, progression is retained in each specialization yeah. as you switch them around. And so that way in the activities that you do with your group, because you know, as yeah. you know, as you know, you can do play we? solo or up to four-player co-op. And eight-man raids. Eight-man raids, right. is that right? That's can true, baby. So... You can swap yeah. around these signature weapons, these specializations, to optimize your co-op group. But it gives you a little way of talking about who you are as a character. Like, okay, I play Demolitionist mm. with this build. And then yeah. you talk about your build and your gear and stuff mm -hmm. like yeah. that. So it's it's like a two-layered thing, right? And yeah. that means that my Demolitionist can be different than oh, your Demolitionist. Oh, totally. Like, you can go around being like close CQB with like shotguns and things like that. Whereas I'm, I could be a sniper Demolitionist yeah. for for uh, all that matter. So, um, <coughs> like, you, you will have a, a role. Yeah, you can still have the whole gear game just as before, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, and and specialization will grant you some other things as well. Like they'll grant you some new unique skill mods uh, that might be unique to those mm. specializations. Maybe some new talents. Maybe mm. some new stat bonuses. Things like that, right? There's some. There's so many wonderful details in the sentence that you just said. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you think anybody <laughs> will dissect what we just I said? I hope so. Maybe. <laughs> Come on. But. Going from 1 to 30 and not even looking at uh, s what the specializations give you is the gear, right? Right. Like you have two primary weapons in our game. You swap between them. And then you have six slots. You have a chest piece. You have a mask. You have gloves, knee pads, backpack, holster. Just as before. Mm -hmm. As, um, a as a fan of the game, I'm just going to just totally interrupt. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, go. Looking at the weapons. Mm -hmm. I love the damage drop-off graph. Oh, it's so the good. The drop-off yeah. graph, it's yeah. So, so like, yes. actually, let's let's just go in here. And let's nerd out about that a little do bit. Do a comparison thing here. Like, you can see this is a shorter drop-off, but yeah. it's also the far range to see there. So it's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Just the visual, just just to be able to see it visually. I was Actually, speaking of visual, I, I'm just going to do this then. Oh, snap. Just yeah, I, oh, I, just, I just got the question from uh, Senor Camaro in chat. What happened to mods? Well, oh. th this, They're this happened there to now. mods. Like, Look hey, that. hey, out there, <laughs> this is mods. <laughs> <So> <laughs> hey, TV. <laughs> so the thing about mods in the last game is we like them and we like modding our guns yeah. and we like looking at these things. But one of the problems was that you quickly got into this like best in slot situation mm -hmm. in the end of the game. So what we and also, uh, you know, not to be that guy, but. Inventory management got a little bit hectic at I the end game I with think all I of currently the have 90 mods there in my inventory go. that I haven't gotten rid of yet. So yeah. Because I don't know how to yeah. do that in a good way. So you what know, we've done is that we swapped it over. So you unlock mods. You know, you, once you've unlocked this MK5 scope, it's there. Like you have it. You can use it on everything. It doesn't take up inventory space. Uh, you get it through other means of progression. It's not going to be a loot drop. So there you go. But if I have that MK5 scope unlocked... Mm -hmm. And I put it on my shotgun. Yeah. Th which, you know, yeah. you're free to do. Yeah, but sure, <laughs> sure, right. Does that mean I can't put it on any other gun? No, no. Any okay. unlock, just use it everywhere. Just use it everywhere. Just which means also you none of that, this. like, swap your mods. Over. 
Or from mm. one gun to the other cool. right. stuff from the right. last game. I don't have to have all yeah, the damage. Yeah. You just unlock it and it's there. Yeah, yeah. I love it. So, but so what are they for if they're not in different levels and different quality types and stuff? Well, they're they're mods. They modify your gun as to how you want to play mm -hmm. rather than act sort of like enhancements or like gems, I guess, maybe. So I'm seeing plus minuses there. You're seeing plus minuses yeah. there. So they come with like pros and cons, yeah, right? Well, can we put that on the screen so people yeah. can see it? Yeah, flip it there. over to the... Yeah, flip it over. Oh, flip it over. production. Yeah. There we go. That's oh, not wrong. wrong you you wrong can do one. that too. You can do. Okay, you can yeah, go in there. See, press, press X. And uh, you got that scope on there. So you, so it's a big ass scope, right? So you yeah. have a lot of headshot damage that comes from having this scope, but yep. your reload speed is going to suffer because it's making the handling of the gun worse. And that's right. what we tried to do. Like we try to make them make sense as well. Where like something that will give you uh, a compensator might give you good stability, but mm -hmm. accuracy will be off a little bit because the bullets are slowed down and might wobble, you know? I love this new angle. To, to follow up on that, again, kind of tie it into this, uh, Mudkip is asking, are there gear mods? Are there gear mods? I don't think we brought gear mods in uh, to show today. Um, so we'll talk about those at another time. I think the one but thing the that you can so see here is a skin slot, though. Yeah. On gear. Skin slot on right. gear. But gear so the can but be skinned and painted. So the answer, which is one of the rewards from the shields, get there a backpack you go. die. <laughs> Snap. Boom. You just dropped the shields program. Well, oh. we did earlier. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay, we, just cool. no, everything. So we just dropped everything. We'll uh, talk, about, the, so we'll the talk the answer about gear mods at a later time. Uh, we're still really, actually, to be honest, investigating exactly what we want them to be and like how they fit in. Yep. Uh, we have the possibility to do them. Yep. But so the answer is probably. 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 Um, mm. So, yeah. Under development. It. Yeah. Because we're making the game. Yeah. We're making yeah. the game. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not making so the like game. Next March, it'll be in everybody's hands. But until then, we get to do some more shit to it. That's right. Yep. Did you say a bad word? Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, anyway, so I think that's about it for mods. I think people get the idea of you don't have to slap all of the best in slot mods on a gun. You put the mods on a gun that you feel you want for its handling and mm -hmm. its purpose. And it'll come with some pros, some cons. Kind of change the way the game plays rather than just... Uh, progress it right right and that also leaves more power to be put on on the gear yeah quite frankly yeah and speaking of the gear can you tell let's talk about let's talk about brands yeah. can we talk about brands yeah so yeah, like even asking, here in the grid a lot about yeah, that. yeah so yeah, even yeah. here in the grid you'll see like little little uh, watermarks or uh, logos next to each little piece here yeah. right and they're logos for brands mm. so every piece of gear it has a manufacturer that makes them so I guess what we're wa watching here is something from the Petrov Defense Group. Mm -hmm. So the Petrov Defense Group, t they, uh, they have a brand, they have a, a logo, they have a sort of propensity to roll certain stats on there. So it's like still random gear, it's still random rolls, but they tend to roll certain styles of stats and certain styles of talent. And that should emphasize a certain play style. Yeah, and... Mm -hmm. and Together with brand sets that we'll talk about in a second, that means you and I can talk about our builds. Yeah. Like you, you can go through your build and say, hey, I, I'm like three-piece uh, three uh, Petrov and uh, two-piece uh, Providence. And right. that means something to someone because that, that will tell them a little bit about how you play. And like, what okay, you're, you're kind of a defensive yeah, guy. Yeah, so, you know. so that gives us a, a nomenclature, a way to talk about builds right, and right. gear that isn't like just this much DPS, this much stamina, this much electronics. Yeah. Uh, and then that's really valuable because it's not removing any of the depth to builds, but it's giving us the tools to, to talk about them and think about them in an easier way, right? Yeah, you don't I necessarily have to drive towards completing the brand sets either. No, because right. the thing about the brand sets is, uh, I don't know if that's really apparent here, but they, s they have little bonuses. Like yeah. if you wear multiple pieces of these, you'll get bonuses. In this case, we have like some little LMG damage, mm. some ooh turret skill power, oh. snap, <laughs> and some skill haste. Um, I don't think you're on screen. It's me. Mm. Oh, oh, well. okay. But anyway, the point being, they start at one piece. Yeah. So even if you just wear one piece, you get a little something. You get a little something, and they're all of equal power. So you can wear six different brands, or mm. you can wear three of one and three of the other. It won't matter for minimaxing. Mm -hmm. It just matters for how you want to play, like how what build you want to make. So right. there's no like recipe where everybody has to go three of this and three of this. It's uh, it's a pretty open system, but it does mean that 
we can talk about gear. We have a predictable way of like seeing a piece drop. You yeah. see that little icon from that brand and you go, oh, that's the brand I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah. I heard that brand was How good or I want yeah. that one. Yeah, got, got that question in chat and I heard it before as well. So looking at the bonuses and all of that, w firearm, stamina, electronics, is that still a thing or no. it's all down to? So if you think about electronics, right? Electronics gave skill power so you had to understand that conversion mm -hmm. um but it didn't really do anything in of itself so the point being instead we give skill power right and instead to give each piece like a baseline it has this brand set right, right? like oh it's from this brand so it gives me these things uh, and it actually ends up being much more varied because every piece has electronics firearms and stamina in the first game was here Every solo Sokolov concern brand has these stat bonuses, but another piece might have some other bonuses, right? So right. it gives a m much wider breadth to the to the gear game. So I'm really happy with the way that works. It gives, it makes it approachable, but still so flexible and so deep. Uh, which I, you know, our goal is totally to keep the depth and the. Uh, it's already playing so well. Yeah. I mean, we have I so much more time well. to work on it, and it's already playing well, which mm -hmm. is uh, it's, it's just fantastic. I'm going to guess that we can't really answer this question, but mm. let's ask it anyway. You guys can say, uh, we'll talk about that later. Uh, now I lost yes, it. Yes, I like pepper. Uh, Dr. Sick Pickles no. asking, how many different brands will there be? Oh, good question. A bunch. I'll ask the question. A bunch? A bunch. A bunch. Yeah, it's a like bunch. Like and that's then a good number. How a many bananas are number. in a bunch? Yeah. A bunch. Yeah. But okay. I mean a whole bunch. The thing about brands as well is that if we added another high-end piece to Division 1 uh, in a patch or like a drop, it wouldn't really matter. Mm. But if we add a new brand, that's a big deal. It's so a big deal. it gives us this platform to do more things in the future as well. Yep. I want to talk yeah. a little bit also about talents. Because okay. talents matter to people who are into the Division, right? So yep. Um, yep. You're into the division? I am. I've, yeah. I've okay, played cool. It some Good. Time. Yeah. You find, uh, I think, because we're all in purples here. Yeah. So, superior gear. Mm -hmm. If you find one of the pieces that has a talent on it. Precisely. So, here. So, you have a, a, a common talent here. So, we've mm -hmm. got like common talents. They're simple talents that might give you a little stat boost of some type. Mm -hmm. um, they're sort of like a, a lumped up little stat boost. And that's, that's cool because you can, you, they have a name and they have an icon and they kind of also let you talk about gear in a way. But then you have advanced talents. We're going to clip over to my. Oh. It doesn't matter, okay. either or. So this is more of an advanced talent. So hit and run, melee kills, grant you a speed boost for two seconds. Right. So that has like a condition for it to happen, etc. It's a little bit more advanced, mm -hmm. but it also has a requirement. I for this that. one, you have to have under a certain amount of armor for this to be true, because it's like a heavy... You're, if you're way down, this is not going to actually be active. Right. So that's the new thing. And we can cut over to Terry's screen. You can describe the one that you have here on your mask. Yeah, steady nerves, right? Destroying armor or weak points grant 50% weapon stability for four seconds. However, full auto weapons equipped. Mm -hmm. right? So it's actually not active for you because you yeah. have a vector. Yeah, that's right. But uh, so not all of those requirements are like uh, restrictions like that. Some of them are like, oh, have uh, over 40% crit chance or something yeah. like that, right? So it's still... Uh, you can still like achieve something rather than stay under something. They're not all like that. But the by doing this, by writing it like this instead of the old ones, yeah. we can have thematically understandable and relatable requirements to things. The depth of choice already seems so mm -hmm. much greater than what we had previously. But something will drop. You'll read this and you'll go, ooh, I want that. What do I have to do to achieve that? Oh, I have to, I have, to have like this stat or like equip myself like this. Yeah. And that starts you thinking about a build, right? Yeah. And then you piece all of these together, and uh, that creates a whole build, right? Yep. So I'm pretty pleased with the changes. They're pretty radical if you're into Division 1. Like, there's a lot that's changed, but um, it's working out. Yeah, I, mean, I really when like when it. When we say we refine the RPG, it's definitely true. Um, and it's already working much better, I think. Mm. Yeah. So... What let's else have better? A, let's have a look at our guns as well, because we didn't look at the talents on the guns, right? Th no, they're similar. Not. They work similarly. So yeah, we look at the kill confirmed yep. here. Headshot kills grant 10% damage. Stacks up to 10 times. All non-headshots reset the bonus. And it requires that you have to have over 140% headshot damage. So if you, did you remove the scope from this gun? I did not. Uh, so if you uh, go out and aim, oh. uh, or if you remove the scope with this gun, 
Just uh, put any old mod on there. Mm. I'm just going to strip it. Sure. If you aim down sights with this thing. You see the side of your gun there? Yeah. That's, that's, that's that talent. That's that talent with a little uh, augmented reality tracker stacking up those uh, right. stacks for so that I talent. So I can see that in real yeah, time. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, so all of, all of the all of the pinnacle talents have those little uh, things that track them. Look at those casings eject. And it means that you can you can really care about them when uh, they happen, right? Yeah, I like that. That's awesome. I like the reflection and the realization of it. Mm. Game of the year. <laughs> Game, Game of the year. year. Game of the year. It. We're done. Just saying mm. it. Um, one question, though. I've seen yeah. a couple of those oh, as questions. well, actually. I think questions would be good. And, and it's not related to that, uh, really that, but uh, inventory size is one thing that keeps coming <laughs> up. So because in this build, it's 30. Kay. So I just want to... I think... What do you think, Terry? Should we be fully honest? I think honesty would be yeah, appreciated, so yeah. Anybody will know that the a lot of the inventory space came from perks from the your progression in the last game. Yeah. Those aren't active in this build. Right. So your inventory space will match... Or exceed maybe, I don't know, what we had last time. We're not going to have a problem with inventory space. We're not going to go down to 30, which everybody's seen here. Yeah. It just happens to be what we needed to do these kits for this demo. So the it, it's okay. Show. It's going to be more. you got to have more. You're going to have more. We're not, not going to be stingy. Hey, girl. What other Any questions other? coming yeah. from chat? Uh, please show the perk active on the other gun. Which not sure which gun. I mean, uh, pull out uh, the vector. Uh, no, I'll... I'll Click oh, on over no. to my screen, maybe. Yeah. Oh, you have m many guns. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Here. Well, here's. Um, well, this one is actually a. Uh, this shotgun is like kills while close, so very close, mm -hmm. like up like in your face. They double the next shot damage. So, might be a little. Uh, might be very powerful, but it, they require to be super, super close. So this little icon here, you're gonna see this light up with the. Uh, you can see, see that light up with the uh, talent icon if you've managed to proc that thing. Getting the question here, are the perks randomized? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. We, we still random drop, uh, we still randomize stats and talents just like we did in the last game. Mm -hmm. um, there will be weapon category specific uh, talents like that only drop on maybe marksman rifles or something like that if they're only appropriate for marksman rifles. Right. But uh, yeah, for sure. And uh, these are only purple guns, so these only have uh, one talent as well. We're, we're going to work on, you know, what uh, high ends and everything we'll have in the end. Uh, right. The big daddy weapons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, getting a question here from, from Chris. What about consumables? Mm. Does that count what about gear? Is that, is, that, is that a deep dive for gear? Does that, does that count? Well, it's a question that it's I think is fair. I don't know if we can discuss consumables at this point. No, I don't think so either. Yeah. No. I just wanted to get some questions. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, can yeah. just look fine, at me it's fine. and say, shake your head. And yeah. Say, no, yeah. no, we're not going there. Safe to say that uh, you know we're basically looking at every aspect of the game, so there will be things that happen to that aspect of the game as well. Yeah, yeah I think uh, maybe that will be the same for the next question uh, from KCG Twitch. Any recalibration or optimization stations? What do you say, Terry? I don't think uh, we can talk about that either. There we go. It's not because we're we don't want to talk about them. We just this is the yeah. this is stuff we brought. This is what we're talking about now. Yeah, yeah. you exactly. know. Um, as obviously as developers and intense fans of the game, we have a pretty big list of all the things that we know we want. We know players want, um, and we just can't talk about all the things yet. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure you'll understand. Some of them have been in developed. Like yeah. honestly, some of them were just f still like Absolutely. finalizing and figuring out. So. We don't want to tell you something that then we'll change, you yeah. know, later. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to make promises and break promises, right? That's just rude. <laughs> right, that's just rude. Any other questions? Getting um, are all the weapons from uh, the Division One and Division Two, like LVOA? Uh, Somebody was asking about the house earlier. Which whoa. <laughs> So uh, all of the regular weapons are brought over um, to this, but we have remade weapon handling from scratch yeah. for this game. I think anybody who's played the game can attest to that they feel different. 
but all of the weapon models that you know and love. I in fact, everything that we see here today are things that we had in the first game because whatever new stuff's coming in is not quite ready yet. Yep. So. I see, I'm seeing a lot of, uh, lot of questions actually called out by Nima right now uh, about uh, healing skills. And that's one of the mm. things that they're not in the build. We're not going to talk about them right now. Uh, so, yeah. Mm. Not going to answer that question today. No. But um, I think also, you know, looking at the new armor system and the armor repair kits, I think everybody recognizes that we have a different approach to how, how quickly or how easily you can regain... Uh, Regain uh, health slash armor. Yep. So uh, look forward to conversations about that in the future. Yeah, yeah the healing works a little bit differently when you're mm. in cover and, and uh, charging up your uh, yeah your armor bar. Mm -hmm. I just love looking at these all these mods. Yeah, I think the new camera angles for so the mods beautiful. are really great. Actually, I mean, half the time I just Kudos spend to looking at the model. Yeah, yeah. Kudos so to Rasmus and the UI team for yes. putting this together. Yes, it's beautiful. Then I'll be like, oh, I'm supposed to be looking at these numbers. <laughs> oh, yeah, but, but others will look at the numbers. You can look at the I'll look the at models. the pretty, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then someone else can you know, tell mm -hmm. me what numbers I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Anything else going on? I mean, uh, obviously, one, so of the things that was, right now. one of the things that was popularly discussed uh, uh, yesterday with some of the fans was... Extended mags. So yeah, let's talk about extended mags. I wasn't sure if we could over talk to about my that. screen for a moment, or if you go, yeah. So no, 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 just, you go ahead. Oh, it's, it's on you. Uh, yeah. This model of extended mag, if you look at it in real life, is going to give you twenty extra rounds. So that's what it gives you for so really reels. Yeah. So extended mags will have realistic sizes this time around. They kind of got a little inflated last time, which means that things like reload speed and stuff like that kind of diminished in value, and we mm. we didn't think that that really played right. So what you're saying is I can't have 2,000 rounds. I mean, not in uh, <laughs> not in an M4. <laughs> all right, I guess I uh, guess well, I'll adapt. Yeah. No, you know. no more plus 100 percent. We know rounds. I love LMGs with all, with all mm. the bullets, but hey. Well, LMGs still have a lot of bullets. They, they Don't worry should, about them. Don't worry about them. Okay, all right. I trust you. Mm, good. Okay, good. Yeah. So yeah, there's that touch of um, a little bit of realism. realism. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's still an RPG, but it, you can be inspired by the realism of what would this type of handle do for your handling of the gun? What would a flash hider do in terms of uh, like stability and stuff like that? So yeah. uh, things that would slow down your bullets, going to give you less optimal range, for instance, <laughs> and stuff like that. I really get the feeling and the impression, at least at this stage in development, that um, the mods are going to be less about chasing you know, the perfect number, yeah, yeah. right? Um, and more about chasing the playstyle you want. Yeah, and then they're going to be about the personality of the gun. It's like, mm. okay, this gun kicks a lot, and I'm like, I'm happy with the damage, so I can go down a little bit on the damage and maybe yeah. get some stability. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's about it's about uh, customizing your playstyle rather than just uh, growing yeah. in in power. I feel like that was a sometimes a a barrier to entry for some of our fans. Sure. You know, that you if you, you had to know all of those if things. Didn't, if you didn't speak spreadsheet, you know, <laughs> it could get difficult. Mm. Uh, and now it's. Well, this is a shotgun, and I know how I want it to feel. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. And so I'm going to, I'm going to take the pros and cons with these mods, and hopefully make an intuitive choice. Yes, you know the in, the intuitiveness yeah. of it is important. I guess also someone would ask later if I don't say it now is that there's no um, magical DPS number going on. And I think that's a huge thing too. I'm glad you brought it up. Is that yeah. you're not just pushing that number. No, I right. want DPS up yeah. plus up. You know, right. The, what what we've what we found is like the, it's really hard to make a – our ambition with the DPS was to make a, a simple number that you could rely on mm -hmm. if you didn't know much about guns and stuff like that. But the yeah. problem is when you compare apples and oranges, when you compare a shotgun to a sniper rifle and one has a little higher number and, and they pick that instead – it plays so differently so that different. they might not actually perform well. So it's better to just look at the thing, go, here's how much damage it does – Here's how fast it fires, how mm -hmm. big its mag is, things that you can feel when you play the game. Right. Yeah. And then you make the choice between them, right? Yeah. Do I have potato aim or not? Yeah. So yeah. Exactly. So that's gone. I always have potato aim. Yeah. I do, too. Sure. That's, that's, yeah, that's I mean, an issue. Potato. I have to say that I'm great at it because I do the guns, but I have potato aim. Okay. Well, we should <laughs> yeah. start a clan. 
Called potato. 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 Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Or I Every, love everybody's free to join. I'm up for that. Yeah. Or like you're saying we have clans. I'm, I am. <laughs> Good. We are on the on the deep dive for gear. We're going to confirm <laughs> that we have clans. Oh. You knew that already, though. I mean, yeah, come on. You've you've been watching all the stuff, right? Mm. So, yeah, French fries or maybe. Potatoes and salt. salt yeah, there you yeah. go. Salt and potatoes. Mm. That Ooh, works. Come Good. on, because salt. Because salt. you, know? salty. you yeah. see that, that? That sounds great. See what I did there? Uh, uh, we have one, one question about, yeah, the, uh, about the UI, actually, or in the UI, over yeah. the grenades. What is that? Ah. What is that thing? Because I don't know. Over what? the grenade. Oh. Oh. This little tombstone? Uh, that's yeah, armor yeah, that's armor kit. The, yeah. I saw the questions about the plating before as uh-huh. well in chat. What is that? I mean, l- the way the armor works, if you look at when I'm out here and I bring up the thing, you have a little white bar. That's armor. your armor. Um, when that's gone, you gotta, you got to basically press and hold the button, then you pull out that plate, throw it on the ground, put in a fresh one. Yeah. So gone are health kits, and instead you're exchanging your armor plates right. for fresh ones. That's why right. it takes time and all that business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. That's had a great effect on gameplay, I think. It has, actually, because it means you've got to find that safe spot to yes. do it, and it means you got to – there's a little bit of attrition where basically once you've taken a shot, that armor is gone, yeah. uh, and you, you don't regain it so fast. Um, makes it a little bit more tactical, as cliche as that might sound. No, it's not cliche at all. I love the word tactical. Look at me behind you. I'm being tactical. <laughs> <laughs> I get my feet all also kinds slightly of scary. Wow! wow. Yeah, all wow. kinds of wet. Yeah. Fire my gun. Okay, no friendly yeah. fire. Hey, hey, take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, yeah. Are we fighting now? <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> yeah. So, any other questions that are popping up? Because uh, I kind of no, feel we, like we, we covered actually, the bases. We covered the bases. We actually have to wrap up now. We're, right. we're cool. going I got to say to everything uh, I wanted to. To uh, take a short little break, watch a uh, cool. little trailer while we mic up our next guest. Can I watch the trailer too? No. Yeah. Oh. Well, thank you for having us. Yes, thank you, Petter. We love you. We love you. I love you too. Sorry, Hamish was talking to my ear. So it's it yeah. super confusing. You're yeah, looking at me really and I hear a Hamish voice. Pedder, yeah. Pedder stalling. Yeah. yeah, I'm stalling for time now. 